check it out, check it out. Caribou Coffee. Uh, we're like in between um, Roanoke, Virginia and Harrisonburg. Saw the sign, Caribou Coffee. It's connected to like a Burger King or something here. This has got to be the best rest stop ever. Check it out. morning July the 1st um, it's been a good trip so far you know we've gone about 700 miles got about 300 400 left to go uh, it's a route I'm familiar with from here on out down 40 east wanted to talk a little bit about driving to New York I've done this will be the fourth time I've driven to New York before and twice I've driven it all in one shot you know no uh, stopping at a hotel or something like that and um, that's a rough trip it can be done in certain situations but it's too much night driving for me especially since I haven't driven in seven months so you know we didn't have a car in New York we didn't need one um, speaking of New York nobody's wearing masks here and uh, it's a little unnerving oh, we're right outside of UT Knoxville it's kind of a college area downtown Knoxville and uh, we went out last night and just nobody's wearing them except for, you know, staff at restaurants and things like that. It's just a little jarring. You know, whether you, you wear one or you don't, um, I, I, I see some turmoil uh, for the first time, you know, some conflict. A lady approached us in the hotel and was asking us all kinds of questions, you know. Where, she first, she pretended like I was taking pictures of her. She's like, what, what are you taking pictures of? I'm like, I'm just filming the lobby. And she's like, no, what are you taking pictures of? I said, the lobby. And she's like, where did y'all get those masks? Where did y'all come from? I'm like, lady, I don't have to answer all your questions. Um, I, we answered them, but I, I'm not quick enough. If I would have been thinking, I would have been like, where are you from? Anyway, um, I'm about to stop in here. There's another donut shop. Look great on Yelp. Uh, again, the diet doesn't start until July the 6th, after 4th of July weekend. By the way, uh, we need to talk about fireworks. So, the fireworks situation in New York um, in Brooklyn especially, there was just a lot of loud, unnecessary fireworks over the last month before we left. And it was the kind of fireworks like you would hear at the Macy's, you know, 4th of July uh, show. This wasn't, you know, ones you get down at a tent at your local fireworks shop. These were the heavy duty, sounded like explosions, you know. One of the buildings that we were at, it sounded like it it was imploding and um, that went on for several nights, about five nights. It usually started about 8.30, about 30 minutes before sunset and it would just continue on all the way sometimes until 3 a.m. and um, just keep you up at night, couldn't sleep and uh, it was really irritating. But um, that finally stopped. I think they found out that there were some guys in Stanton Island that were selling them, like buy two packs, get one free. There was another question, you know, where are all these people getting the money for these fireworks? I don't know if they spent their stimulus checks on that or what, but they were loud. So I'm kind of over the fireworks. The other issue with fireworks is, you know, dogs don't typically like fireworks. And um, Claire has a dog. Uh, I call it Nevins. I forget what, Coco is its real name. I call it Nevins from the uh, Cat in the Hat dog. It's not going to be excited about the fireworks, I'm pretty sure. The neighborhood fireworks, at least. Donut shop was closed. Trying to go to a bagel place now. 